Good afternoon, everybody. We are live. Hello and welcome from sunny Atlanta. My name is Terry White. It is my pleasure to host the one and only Victoria White. And we're going to be do or actually when I say we, I mean her. She's going to be doing uh, all kinds of generative AI using Adobe Firefly. So we're going to talk about Adobe Firefly today. We're going to answer some questions. We're going to do some uh, she's going to do a giveaway. I'm going to let her talk about her new book, which we're going to give away here on the show. Let me go ahead and refresh. Uh, I want to refresh this page so I can see your comments. Let me do that real quick. And thanks for, uh, for chiming in and joining us from wherever you're joining us from. If you're joining us from, uh, matter of fact, wherever you're joining us from, go ahead and put it in the comments. Uh, let us know. Like what city, what state, what country, what time is it where you are? If you're out of the country, if you're not in the United States, uh, just let us know where you are. So I see Robert, Jack, Patrick, and Oliver so far, and welcome. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, that's cool. You can hang out there. But if you really want to be, um, if you want to, especially if you want the giveaway, because I'm going to be looking at this one chat for the day. Uh, head over to b.net slash Adobe Live. That's where I'll be looking at, and we're going to ask, a, uh, I don't know, I'll come up with some question uh, towards the end that we'll ask, and then we'll pick an answer from the chat, and that's how we'll do the giveaway for the book. I believe we're going to give away, or she's going to give away a Kindle version. Yes. So, uh, and by the way, you can hold up the book, Victoria. Uh, there's a physical version on Amazon, but she's going to give away the Kindle version because we don't know what country you're in. And uh, yeah. why don't we do it this way? If you're a win if you're the winner and you're in the United States, we'll send you the physical book. But if you're not in the United States, we'll send you the Kindle version. Yep. Fair enough. That way you get, you know, depending on where you are, you get a book no matter what. So we'll do it that way. I just came up with that <laughs> brilliant idea of, how we can handle international or how we're not going to handle international shipping but we can certainly ship in the u.s and that way you guys can get a copy of the book i love the cover too she did a great job on that Thank you. hold that up again so uh again this is the adobe firefly book over a hundred plus prompts on adobe firefly and uh victoria tell us more about you first of all hello guys i missed you i missed being on adobe live so happy to be here today with you yeah today we will talk, talk about adobe firefly we will start with uh, firefly on the web and we will transition to photoshop we will talk about firefly in photoshop uh, about my book i just released a new book it's a, a, a firefly 100 plus prompt it's actually 11 chapters and you can find uh, for everyone can you see yes this is all what you can find in this book all prompt you can just uh, copy and paste in adobe firefly and firefly as always will generate uh, based on uh, the prompt from this book the firefly is amazing and i cannot say express how happy i am as an artist as photographer to be able to use a firefly it's time saver it's out of this world i'm happy so guys like terry said if you are in the united states we will send you a physical copy if you are outside of united states we will send you a um, kindle book so anyways you can use it you can uh, jump to firefly and start creating magic all right so with that said uh, i asked people to chime in where they're from and i see uh oliver in the uk patrick from geneva switzerland and i saw some folks over on youtube uh, montana and the good old us of a and let me scroll back because i know i missed some or maybe i didn't <laughs> i know i missed some over here here we go sweden um who else we got here Who's from Sweden? Who is that? Uh, scrolls by so fast. All right, someone was from Sweden. I saw that. I couldn't. Remember. I couldn't see who it was. And of course, we have our uh, wonderful moderator, uh, Jack Watson, um, for moderating uh, the stream. So we're uh, Virginia. Um, 
And that's it. All right, so, Victoria, what are you going to do? Oh, so wait a minute. First of all, Christy's asking you a question. Uh, Firefly came out recently. How were you able to make a book so quickly? <laughs> When uh, first of all, I was in the Firefly pre-release, and uh, after uh, Photoshop released uh, Firefly Beta, I was working with Firefly basically 24 by 7. Because as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, I love Firefly. It's amazing, amazing tool uh, to all creative. So basically, I work 24 by 7 and. Uh, many of you guys ask me about how I do this or how I do that and I decided to release my book so it's easier for you to follow all prompts and you can uh, generate same thing what I'm generating. So basically she didn't sleep for, yeah, for I, I don't know, days, weeks, long enough to get the book done. And she did it on the new engine. So yes. uh, at Adobe Max, um, uh, Firefly got a brand new update to the engine that generates the images to make the better better quality images. And that engine is on the website, not yet in Photoshop. So Photoshop's going to get that update, hopefully soon. But right now, that new engine for Firefly is in, uh, in the Firefly website, which we're going to take a look at right now. And if you're interested, and I'll dig up a link to the book, by the way, and put that in the chat. But if you're interested in seeing a quality difference, like you, maybe you're not happy with the quality you're getting in generative fill in Photoshop, the quality is definitely much better. And again, that engine's coming to Photoshop, but it's much better in Firefly on the website right now. All right, um, and uh, Marsha, great that you have, to, I'm sorry you have to run, but great that you're gonna catch the re replay. All right, Victoria, I'm gonna switch over to your computer and yes. take us away. Let, let, us, let us see what we're gonna do. And in, in the meantime, I'm gonna go look at the, the link for your book. Of course. So guys, uh, I have opened Adobe Firefly on the web and uh, my second tab I have opened, it's all prompt. I will start uh, from today. Uh, Adobe Live team uh, uploaded this link to this um, PDF file, I believe somewhere in the stream or Below. It's probably in the description. Yeah, in the description. You can download this PDF file. You can copy and paste to Adobe Firefly or Adobe um, or Photoshop, and you will be able to generate exactly what I will be generating uh, with you today, guys. What I will do, I will copy and paste. So as you can see, some of prompt will be a little bit uh, complicated. Some of my prompts are so uh, short and uh, easy and fast to type. So guys, let's start with first prompt. What I will do, I will select my prompt. You can do same. Copy, I will open my Firefly, text to image, generate, and I will paste my prompt just like that. And voila, let's see what Firefly will generate for us. As you notice, guys, I didn't touch anything because, first of all, because Firefly is still uh, generating um, image based on my prompt and voila, look at this, let's um, zoom in. This is first image, this is second, third and fourth. So by default, uh, Firefly generates uh, image in a square aspect ratio. Of course, guys, we can change it at any time. Example, I love it, but uh, maybe I want to my image be generated in landscape aspect ratio. So on the left right side of your screen, you have aspect ratio um, forms. You can switch to landscape ex and you need to um, click on generate one more time and Firefly will regenerate um, image in a specified aspect ratio. Now we're generating in a landscape, just like that. And I didn't touch anything, contents type after, so I didn't specify uh, photo or art. Uh, all decision made by Firefly. Did you want to say something? I did. Yeah. Uh, so the um, that's an important distinction that, that was just made. Like when she selected the different aspect ratio, in the latest version of Firefly, it doesn't do anything until you click generate again or refresh. Yeah. Whereas before, the minute you, some things on the right hand side, when you change them, it would immediately take effect and refresh your results. 
And therefore, if you had something on the screen you liked, but you didn't save it first before you change something on the right, you'd lose it. Because once, you know, as, as for anyone who's done this before, you know that it's almost impossible to get the exact same image you had from you even using the exact same prompt. So I like that it doesn't do it immediately. Yeah. And it's up to you to click refresh if you want to change it. Because you might make four or five different setting changes. And therefore, it doesn't keep generating based on every single change you make until you're ready to click refresh. Yeah, great point there. Thank you. So, Firefly, every time when you click on generate, Firefly will generate set of four images. You can download all of them or you can download some specific image you like the best. How you can download? Let me um, enlarge the window. You can click on share button and you can download it. You can copy image, you can uh, edit this image in Adobe Express, uh, submit to Firefly Gallery and save to your Creative Cloud library, which is very, very helpful if you want to continue working on your file in Photoshop or you have specific uh, library with uh, your uh, Firefly generations. It's a great option. I love this option. Also, guys, if you want uh, continue to continue working on your generated image, you will need to click on uh, down a looking arrow, edit icon, and you can bring this image to generative field, uh, show similar, use as style reference. So it's up to you. We have a lot of options we can um, use to adjust our image generated by Firefly. So also guys, as this is my simple prompt. As you notice, I don't have- Simple? It looks like a, a paragraph or two. My prompts are simple. They're like two words. <laughs> no, I mean by simple, guys, I mean I um, didn't specify any effect or colors or photo setting or anything like that. I gave um, permission to Firefly to generate in a, any way generate, uh, Firefly wants to generate my image. But if you want to apply any modification to my prompt, you can do it as well. You can do it by um, specifying um, effect you want to apply to your um, uh, prompt. Example, if I switch to, um, let's see. Uh, Mm, let's see, let's see techniques. Okay, guys, let's pick any. Okay, here, if we will uh, click on oil paint, we specify that we want to apply oil paint style to our um, generative image. Click on oil paint and after that, click on generate and Firefly will regenerate your prompt based on your adjustments. We will give Firefly just a few seconds, just like that. And voila, if I will zoom in, you will see that we have oil painting effect applied to our uh, prompt. And I love it. Next prompt. Let's do next prompt. <laughs> next prompt, guys, it's <laughs> complicated, but Firefly can handle it. So I will select it. Copy. I will bring back my Firefly. I will remove my um, style, oil paint style. I don't need it. And I will paste our new prompt. Before I will click on generate, I would like to um, give some instruction to Firefly. I would like to generate this prompt in art style. So what I will do, I will click on art in content type. And after that, I will click generate, just like that. All right. While we're waiting, uh, Christy has a question regarding, um, I'll just read it. Other than downloading directly to your computer or the cloud, will Firefly uh, have a like or save section of your favorite prompts and style and styles used with those prompts, like a history panel of sorts? Um, Okay, so when people ask a future question like, will it have, I, I can't answer that. I don't know if, and I honestly don't know. I don't know if it'll have that or not. Uh, but it's keep in mind, Firefly just came out in March and it was in beta. So it's, it's only been available as a, as a real product like for a couple months. 
uh, or weeks, <laughs> like not, not even. So it, it's, got a, it's got a long way to go. In other words, so I would expect to see things like that, uh, again, without saying yes or no one way or the other. Now, I will say for right now that if, like, for example, Victoria has a result and she yes. has her finger over the little heart icon, yes. that is saving it as a favorite. Now, um, if I remember correctly, I've got that button up too. If I click save it as a favorite, I can view my favorites. And it is now, it used to not, it had a bug. It wasn't keeping the favorites. The there. And now it's here. Let me switch to me. Now it, it's so, so here's what I did. Let me go back. Is I, uh, I clicked favorite and it said, hey, do you want to view your favorites? Yes, I do. And it shows me the favorites I've saved. So here's some, even this one's even a beta one. So that's a while ago. And it's saving my prompt as well as the image. So if that's all you need, that's there right now. Just click the heart icon on a result and you'll have the result saved as a favorite, including the prompt. You can click on it and you can regenerate it based on this prompt. Right. So I just clicked on it. There's the prompt loaded, ready to go. And if I want to hit refresh, I can. Yeah. So for now, you got that as far as a like a history panel or something like that, more detailed. Who knows? But right now you do have favorites. Yeah, uh, you can also, if you will save your uh, generated image to uh, your uh, download folder, when you will open, uh, when you will preview this image, you will see your prompt uh, as a title of your image. So this is a um, result of our second prompt. And if you want to apply more artistic effect, move a visual intensity slider just all the way to the right and regenerate it. just like that we will give again firefly just a few seconds to analyze my prompt and analyze my changes and firefly will generate four images based on my prompt and based on my adjustment look at this it's very nice you can bring it in photoshop and you can um or generate a feel on the web and you can um uh compose it something and do something with it because i love love look at this walking pass it's so dreamy okay guys let's rock and roll our third um prom uh, you know guys what we will start let's do this um very easy prompt very short prompt and we will be back to firefly just in a second so this is firefly i will uh, clear my style i will um uh, insert my new prompt and I will ask to generate again just like that now Victoria I noticed your prompts that you gave away for people to use on, on this they're long so yeah. what what do you get by having a longer prompt versus uh, two or three or four words Firefly is great engine Firefly will understand your prompt uh, which includes only three words or hundred words. But if you want to have more detailed image, a detailed generated image, use more details in your prompt. Uh, example, if I will ask uh, Firefly to generate um, a beautiful lake with a swan, Firefly will generate swan in any color Firefly wants black or white but if i will uh, use color in my prompt beautiful lake with black swan uh, firefly will generate my um, beautiful lake with black swan in it so if you want if you have some specific image in a mind use more um, detailed prompt and this is what it is so all right, so yeah, it, I mean, if you think about it, and I guess I never, I mean, I, I knew more detailed prompts give you more detailed images, but I guess I never thought about it as you're describing what you want to an AI, or let's say even to another person. So if I walked into a an artist shop and I said, draw me a picture of a car. Well, okay, do you want that car in a specific color? Do you want a specific kind of car? Do you want it? Do you just want the car? Do you want it on a background? Do you want it on a road? Do you want four doors? Do you want two doors? Yeah. Do you want do, uh, it's a day or do you night. want a day or night? Do you yeah? You know, so what if, if you just car? said draw a car, 
that's what you're going to get. But if you want a, a very specific type of engine, or not in, uh, uh, well, <laughs> engine or car, if you want a very specific type of image, then that's where a very specific detailed prompt comes in. Yeah. Because otherwise, the AI is just guessing at all the other details. So if you don't give it those details, you won't get them. So I, I get why uh, the, the, the long prompts can definitely give you what you want. Yeah. And, and that's, yeah, that's the whole point of why you'd write a book. <laughs> so. And Firefly is thinking. Firefly is thinking. It's uh, Firefly is supposed to generate image based on your prompt, right? So Firefly is thinking. If you're giving Firefly less material to think, Firefly will say, okay, I will generate whatever I want, whatever I feel to generate. But if you will um, specify what you want to generate, Firefly will follow your instruction. Better example, you walk into a bakery and you say, I want a cake. Yeah. What are they going to start asking you? What kind? How big? Uh, what kind of frosting? What flavor? How, they're going to start asking you, what do you want to say on it? What, they're going to ask you a bunch of questions. Because if you just say you want a cake, they can reach under the counter and hand you one, and you're going to say, oh, that's not what I wanted, because you didn't say what you wanted. Absolutely. So this is um, um, Firefly Generation uh, based of my last prompt, and I like this one a lot. So guys, look at this. As I mentioned before, just copy my prompt, uh, paste into your uh, Firefly on the web or in Photoshop, and you are uh, ready to go. Let's see what else I want to show you. We will be back to uh, generating images to in Firefly. But example, if I want to, uh, I like this image, right? And I will click on edit and I will uh, click on uh, generate a field. Firefly will uh, redirect me to generate a field workspace where I can adjust my generated image. Uh, based on whatever I want, basically. So if I want to add um, uh, something, I will use insert. I will click on insert. I can modify size of uh, my uh, brush. I can make my brush size bigger or smaller. I can specify brush hardness, uh, moving slider to the right or moving slider to the left. And also I can specify brush opacity brush opacity uh, setting is very helpful if you want to put something inside example i have glass of water and i would like to uh, drop an um, ice cube in this uh, water so uh, to do so i will uh, specify my brush opacity less than 50 percent and voila but what i would like to do today i will um, increase brush opacity to 100 percent i will paint a little bit here just like that and what I will do I will type in my prompt flying car just like that and I will click on generate generate a field will analyze my selection generate a field will analyze my prompt and will generate an um, asset based on my um, prompt and voila look at this this is our flying car of course you can do whatever <laughs> you want so now let's go to photoshop voila and first <laughs> first image is our puppy his name is pixel i took this image uh, on our yard and for some reason this image has a lot of greenery first of all because before i will start working with firefly i would like to adjust my image so i will bring my camera raw filter just like that um white balance i will change to um uh, to after and voila i'm happy pixel still baby he will be two years old in november 28th so his favorite thing is run after butterflies let's generate butterflies so what i will do i will switch to restangle Margie tool you can use any selection tool you are more comfortable with and i will make selection about above 
his uh, nose just like that now i have this contextual test taskbar i will click on generate a fill and i will type a butterfly guys look at this this prompt is very simple one word word butterfly and i will click on generate and let's see what firefly will generate if you will look at my properties panel you will see that um uh a firefly is working on generating set of three images for us just like that almost there voila look at this this is our pixel with this beautiful butterfly look at wow. this yes he's happy i know if you don't like this um what firefly generated for you just simply click on uh, generate and voila if you would like to add something to your prompt you can do it using um properties panel or directly through a contextual taskbar it's up to you so this is our pixel next up let me close this i have my creative cloud library with all examples i would like to show you today guys it's all about uh basically for everyone if you are a photographer if you are a designer if you work with um photo compositing you can find uh firefly helpful in any workflow and today i will show different examples so we will start with this expansion let me open it double click and just like that i will zoom out my um, document just for better preview as photographer, sometimes in the studio, I cropping um, image very tight, tightly. And after session finished and model or client left the studio, I'm thinking, oh my God, why I cropped this image so much? So without asking my client come back or my model come back and I will reshoot it, I can fix everything in Firefly. What I will do, I will switch to crop tool and I will expand my canvas to the from the top and uh, to the bottom just like that in the options bar i will specify generative expand and i will click on accept just like that no prompt no nothing prompt area is empty and now firefly will uh, adjust my image based on my directions and guys i didn't look at this and i didn't use any of uh prompt so uh, firefly did everything by itself look at this and if you will look at his head this is before and this is after before you will see that here we have um uh, blue hello probably for uh light um and firefly generated top of his head including this blue line this is awesome guys this is this is out of this world next step next step is adjusting let's adjust something this is our uh, lisa lisa you know lisa guys lisa loves being outside lisa loves her her yard and it's difficult to take picture of her because she doesn't like camera i don't know why but she doesn't like doesn't doesn't matter it's professional camera or my iphone she just doesn't like it so i snap picture of her but i would like to expand this image i would like to give some image um space to breathe because i don't want it's like claustrophobic now what i will do i will switch back to my crop tool and i will expand my canvas to the left just like that and again i will leave prompt text area is empty i will type nothing um in the options bar i will specify generative expand and photoshop remembers by my last um, choice and i will click on generate and just like that firefly supposed to generate part of the image including fence grass and uh, trees around look at this we have three choices this one is very close to our original fence right yeah yeah 
So what I would like to do right now, I would like to remove this stick because Lisa is not a big fan of um, playing with sticks and I don't know why she has it now. So what I will do, I will switch to lasso tool and again guys, you can use any um, selection tool you're more comfortable with. I will select this stick just like that. Look at this. So why I didn't crop my selection to tight um, to the stick because I would like to give firefly room to breathe to analyze grass around the stick to blend everything together after I selected the stick I will click on um, generative field just like that I will use I will type nothing in a prompt text area but I will click on generate now firefly will understand that i want to remove a uh, selected area from the image firefly will remove the stick and will blend everything together let's see. look at this <laughs> that's cool that's cool lisa also loves her um toys she loves her toys so wait, wait, wait. before before you go any further so this question comes up all the time Sometimes you might select an area, especially a big area, and you you leave it blank because you want it to remove what's in that area. And sometimes it removes it. Sometimes it thinks since you left it blank, it adds something new. Yeah. So maybe it will put a different stick in there <laughs> instead or of toy. removing it or toy or whatever. So the question always comes up, well, can I just type remove? Or some people have had, oh, I just put a period in there and that works. So the team is working on giving you a few different words like add or replace or remove, but they they strive to not do that this time, the first time around because they didn't want to complicate it. They didn't want you to have to make commands for it to do something. You just type in what you want. So, uh, for example, if, you, if she selected the grass, an area in the grass, and said puddle of water, you don't have to say add or create a puddle of water. You don't have to put words in like that because it knows by the selection that you want to do whatever the prompt is in that area. The only thing we don't have is the word remove when you select it and you don't put anything in the prompt. So, when you don't put anything in the prompt, it will guess more often than not to remove but sometimes it will add and you just got to keep generating uh, to get it to remove it. Maybe, maybe even change the selection a little bit. Yeah. And now what I will do, I will add some toy to um, next to Lisa. So what I will do, I will switch to my um, selection tool. Again, guys, use any selection tool, but uh, let me explain one thing. So I will make selection next to her palm. Firefly will generate image based on my selection inside this selection. So if you will make selection too tight, uh, Firefly will generate small image based on your prompt. If you will make your selection bigger, um, uh, Firefly will feel, uh, basically Firefly will feel your selection. So uh, think about it. If you want something bigger, don't make small selection. If you want something small, don't make bigger, big selection that's it so this is my um, selection and i will click on generate a fill and i will type a toy just like that and generate firefly guys will analyze okay something wrong let's um select bottom and we'll say just toy toy working so no card dog card dog toy okay so while victoria is doing this and this comes up a lot as a question as well so i'm actually glad it's happening here in real time is um when you get those it could be a violation of the guidelines warnings like you know messages it's weird oh it's, it's below not, it's, it's below, it's below it up. right yeah. just drag it up there you go. Regenerate. Okay. 
So when you get those by, by those, you might have violated the guidelines questions or prompts, I should say. It's because for whatever reason, Firefly thinks that what you're trying to do or what it's trying to do is not appropriate. Does that make sense? So it happens a lot of times, especially if there's skin involved. Like you select uh, a perfect example. You you have a, a, a guy in a, a pair of swim trunks and you want to put a shirt on him or you want to change something about him, but he, he doesn't have a shirt on. So it might give you that guideline because it says, hey, there's skin there. I don't want to generate anything naughty. So I'm going to I'm going to say you're potentially violating the guidelines. It's way, way over protective. Let's put it that way. Than a lot, a lot of people would like. And so now when you get that warning, there's a button on that warning to dispute it, to say, no, this was okay. There was nothing wrong with generating a toy on the grass. Clearly there was nothing wrong with that. Um, so you can, so that way, when you, when you dispute it and you tell the re you explain the reasons why it was okay, or even give the example, um, the team can work on making it better. In other words, to stop it from giving these false positives. That's what there are. Um, and in the meantime, if you're still just trying to get your work done, I advise you to do exactly what Victoria did. She changed the selection, changed the layer that it was going to be on, changed the prompt a little bit because I don't know, maybe for whatever reason, it thought a toy was weird and, and saying dog toy, it was okay with. Yeah. So just change the prompt by a word or two if you're getting that violating the guidelines warning. And by all means, if it is a false positive, click the button to let the team know why it's a false positive and that it was okay and that it should have generated your content. So uh, this is our generation. Uh, uh, Firefly generated toy for Lisa. And why first time it didn't generate? Because remember guys, I expanded my canvas and I was using uh, original layer. So Firefly asked me to bring my um, selection um, uh, to the top, just like that. And now Lisa has her toy. This is all about Lisa for today. Let's see what is next. Uh, and one more, I saw a question yeah. earlier. Let me go back to that question. Make sure I'm on the right mouse. There we are. Uh, the question earlier, I think we kind of already just answered it. It was from YouTube and it says, um, how to merge one image on top of another. Uh, like if you had a kitchen rack and you wanted to add some ceramic container, how to do that? Well, you, you just saw it. Basically, you make a selection on top of that kitchen rack and you describe what you want to be in that selection. Now, um, and, and Victoria already talked about this from a standpoint of size and shape can matter. Absolutely. So for example, if you had a kitchen rack that was rectangular and you wanted to put a dish in the rack and your selection was a circle, for example, well, it may not know to put the dish at a, at, on its side. Because you drew a circle, it may be trying to put the dish in front of you flat, in front of you on, on screen. So if I were trying to put the dish in the rack sideways, I would do a slender rectangular selection and then describe the dish so that it knows I want it to be sideways. I ran into this when I was, uh, I was trying to put a, a cucumber on a plate. And because my selection was wide, it kept giving, I uh, said slice of cucumber. That's what it was. Yeah. And, and it was giving me a slice of cucumber as if you had sliced it down the side, down the sideways. And, you know, you, you just basically cut it in half all the way down. And I didn't want a long slice of cucumber. I wanted a circle. So as soon as I changed my selection to a circle and same prompt, slice of cucumber, it gave me that circular cucumber slice that I was looking for. So now let's expand. No, first of all, let me open this image. I took this image a few years ago in Iceland and it was nice morning and I like this pound. I love colors, but nothing in this pound I found so to take picture of. It's empty. Now what I would like to do, I would like to make selection 
just here and if you noticed i made selection a little bit above the grass because again i would like to let um, give a firefly a room to breathe and now what i will do i will click on generate a field and i will type just one word swan just like that and i will click generate firefly will generate swan based on my prompt but i have no idea what color um in what color firefly will generate my swan it could be white it could be black because i did, didn't specify it <laughs> i don't know just like that and i would like to bring your attention to this example this is my favorite a look at the water look at this uh, firefly didn't just uh, uh, generate a uh, swan based on my prompt but also firefly is smart enough to understand that if i want to put something on top of um reflective surface uh object i gen object i'm generating supposed to reflect on that surface so look at this we have perfect we have beautiful uh, reflection of our swan now i want to let firefly know that i want to generate black swan what what i will do i will select my swan in the option in the properties panel you can do it using contextual taskbar and i will type black swan just like that and i will click on generate now firefly will know exactly what color of swan i want uh, firefly to generate just like that look at this and this is our beautiful swan a look at this this is my favorite and again guys look at all reflection reflections i love it love it love it next up and back to that question on youtube about how to put something on and on top of something else firefly does an amazing job of Figuring out what angle, what perspective, colors, colors, reflections, the size is based on the size of your selection. So it didn't make the swan any bigger or smaller than it could. Um, and, and blending it in with the environment. So we can still see grass uh, on in front of the swan. So if you think about, if you had to do this compositing, which you could do, you could do this all manually, your first task would be finding a swan that's at the right angle. First task. Yes. Second task, selecting it, removing it from its existing background and putting it in. Third task, making it look real by adding shadows and reflections and, and blades of grass in front of it because it, otherwise it looks like it's pasted mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the little water there, little water area. So it's doing a lot of that work that we used to do manually for us saving us time with one click with one click so we can go on and do something else yeah and it's amazing can we like uh terry just said we can do it manually but how much time we need to spend first of finding image and uh composite this image into our original image because specifically uh, speaking about this image look at this grass it's a lot of small details we need to adjust but with Firefly, just with one click. I love it. Okay, one more thing we're with expanding. This image, guys, uh, a lot of uh, things going on in this image. It's uh, buildings, um, tall buildings, wide buildings, and everything like that. Uh, if you're a photographer, and I had my clients, not one, uh, many of them were asking me, Victoria, we need... Um, picture of this building but they didn't specify what angle what time of the day they want just bottom of the uh, specific bottom of the uh, building or entire building or in entire street so example i took this image because this is image of uh, this is a building of my client but my client said mm, i feel just a little bit claustrophobic i want to see more of the street and everything uh, I want to see what's going on uh, around my building and I don't want to come back and reshoot it because example I it was in a in a different state what I will do I will switch to my crop tool and I will specify 
area I would like to expand. Don't forget to ask your client uh, where he want to expand um, the image. So I expanded it just a little bit and I will click OK and Firefly will expand areas I specify. So a little bit on the left and a little bit from the top, just like that. Let's see what Firefly will do for us. Okay, look at this. We have four, three, I'm sorry, three images. Look at this. So fast, easy, without uh, any uh, extra effort from our side. Now let's talk about um, our fashion photographers. I have this image. This very, very happy girl. <laughs> I downloaded this image from Adobe Stock. Uh, all, most of images I'm using today, I downloaded from Adobe Stock, guys. So what I will do now, I will switch to selection tool. Again, you can use any selection tool you are more comfortable with. And I will select part of her outfit, just like that, sweater. Uh, and it selected a lot, so I will specify. I would like to just select this part. So. I have selected her um, sweater. I will click on generate a fill, her t-shirt, I'm sorry. I um, clicked on generate a fill and I will type sweater, just a sweater, nothing else. And I will click on generate. Firefly will analyze my uh, prompt, my text. You can name it in a way you like. And will generate three images based on uh, my prompt, just like that. Let's see what firefly will generate for us and voila we have four three images of sweater now what if i would like to generate um to dress her in something else new year is coming let's change her outfit i will select my prompt in pro in the properties panel or directly in contextual taskbar it's up to you guys and i will type party dress new year is coming and i will click on generate just like that firefly will um analyze my uh, adjustment my prompt adjustment and will generate three extra images based on my prompt look at this voila i love this one let's talk about gen uh, generated uh, images we have six uh results firefly generated based on our prompt if you would like to send your client uh, images all of them you will need to click on some specific generate uh, generation and save this file so if i will click on uh, this image and i will save my uh, document i will have this image if i will click on um, sweater and will save uh, this file my client will have this uh, girl dressed in a sweater unless you will merge your uh, layers you always can come back to your file and regenerate adjust or do whatever you want with um, your file you can add a different prompt and you can regenerate it and by the way guys if example you don't like any of generated images don't keep them simply click on this uh, trash can and uh, photoshop will remove these uh, generated images generated image from uh, um, your properties panel because you don't need them don't don't afraid to delete anything you always can regenerate but if you love something just save your file as photoshop file so this is our girl with different outfits. Let's talk about something else. If any of you love shooting beauty uh, images like I do, sometimes we, we want to add something to uh, this image after photo session is ended. So what I would like to do, I will uh, switch to my selection tool. I will select part of her neck. And by the way, guys, I don't care about her fingers are on the way. I'm not uh, making I, I'm not making selections around her fingers. So I selected part of her neck and I will type 
fashion jewelry just like that and i will click on generate it now firefly again will analyze my prompt will analyze my selection will analyze my original image and will generate fashion jewelry based on my prompt look at this and remember guys i specified uh, i I've brought your attention to I'm not making uh, selections around her fingers. Look at this. And, and that still to this day blows me away. I remember the first time she did this example. And it even, okay, so yes, you cannot make the selection around the fingers to make it easier and faster. But if you include the fingers in the selection like she did then that means it's going to potentially generate new fingers yeah so as she was going through the different results one of the fingers looked a little bent or looked a little crooked like that one <laughs> so it is generating a new finger it's matching yeah. it to the rest but it is generating a new one so if you don't want it to do that then then you would have to eliminate the finger from the selection and therefore it would keep that it should keep that finger um but i but don't mind because the, look yeah. at her nail. oh yeah it did a great job but i'm just saying like so if it's some detail that it doesn't regenerate properly then exclude it from the selection otherwise you're good to go yeah next step guys let's talk about our food photographers i love shooting um product photography i shoot a lot of products for adobe stock i'm contributor to adobe stock i love 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 doing this and let's talk about this where is my food okay here it is example i have image of this um plate on very rustic um table with canvas um uh clothes and everything like that it's very, very country size feeling and I love it and uh, very often I just shoot um, taking pictures of uh, some uh, some um, surfaces because I know I would love to gen uh, to compose it something uh, to this image later on so let's I downloaded this from Adobe stock but let's let's think that I took picture of it and now I would love to generate something into this plate. I love tomatoes. I, he doesn't, but I love, love, love tomatoes. So what I will do, I will switch guys this time to electrical margin tool because we are talking about tomatoes or tomato. And I will make selection. Now, if I will make uh, one large selection, uh, a Firefly will generate uh, image based on my prompt in this selection one selection also i can make different small selection or large selection and um, firefly will generate images in this selection by the way if you would like to select multiple parts of the image you don't have to uh, hold your um, option key what you can do shift. Uh, shift key i'm sorry what you can do in the options bar just switch to um add to selection and right away just just like that without holding anything but what i will do today i will select the middle of the plate and i will type tomato just like that and i will click on generate uh, what Firefly will generate right now, guys, it, it will be very impressive. And I will explain why just in a second. Look at this. So Firefly generated uh, three, uh, uh, three tomato, tomatoes for us. And a look, first of all, look at the image. Obviously, uh, image uh, angle from the above. And we have shadow, original shadow, harsh shadow under the plate. Firefly generated tomato with harsh shadow in the same direction. And also, guys, you can see light reflecting in, a, in tomato because we have light above the plate. Guys, this is very, very impressive. So it's it just, I'm speechless every single time I'm generating uh, something like that to complicate it. Now, 
We talked about food photographers, uh, workflow, we talked about fashion, we talked about a uh, portrait, a pet and everything like that. Now let's talk about um, this image. So I downloaded this image from um, Adobe Stock yesterday when I was testing um, my files. This is, I love countryside because it's relaxing and uh, because it, I spend most of my uh, time in front of my computer, I love being outside more than I can. So I want to create beautiful scenery I would like to be in. This is beautiful uh, morning. I think it's morning. It's kind of cloudy morning. What I will do, I will switch to my Aristangle Marker tool and I will select part of my image, left part side of my image. When you make selection and you want to generate something, Firefly will do the job, but make sure that your perspective, uh, your uh, side of um, selection, size of se your selection is correct. Because look at this, guys. If I would like to generate something on a distance, I cannot make my selection just like that, huge. It will be not too realistic. What I will do, I will select part of my image. And I will use only one word as my prompt. Castle, just like that. And I will click on generate. I'm giving Firefly freedom to generate whatever Firefly wants to generate based on my prompt. Just like that. I'm more than sure Firefly will do the job. Look at this. Firefly generated three castles for us. Okay. Oh my God, this one. That one's great. Before you go any further, can you go to your library for a second? Yes. Um, you see those flowers down there at the bottom? It says not group. Is this one? Yep. Yeah. Drag that onto the canvas. Yeah. Okay. So the, the person asking about, uh, maybe I misunderstood your question, combining the ceramic on top of the kitchen rack, two images, you you put two images on top of each other and then you have to make it look real so um she just drug something from her library if it wasn't in the library you would open up the first image the kitchen rack and then you would open up the second image and drag it on top once you drag it on top then it's up to you to remove the background scale it reposition it whatever to make it look right whereas firefly is doing all of that for you based on the selection. Yeah. So sorry if I misunderstood your question, but it's literally put one image on top of the other, then from there, because I don't see your example, I don't know what it looks like, then you'd have to make it look like it's supposed to be there. So that's, we call that compositing. All right, sorry, you can you can no dump that layer. All right, so this is our castle, and I love this castle. Um, instead of uh, my um, uh, red castle, because it's kind of a dreamy yeah, feeling, that right? That looks like it's there. Yeah. Now what I will do, I will select a little bit from this side, just like that. And I will type horse, just like that. And I will ask Firefly to generate my horse. Guys, what we are working on, we are working on photo com compositing in Photoshop, but we are not doing it manually. We letting Firefly to help us, just like that. And this and top. Mm. Let's regenerate. If you don't like the result, just click generate and Firefly will regenerate. Sometimes it's all about selection, sometimes it's about something else. And look at this. I like this horse. Hmm. This one. Again, if you don't like, you can regenerate until you will be happy with your result. Now, I like this and everything, but I would like to make it more dreamy. What I will do, I will switch to my lasso tool. I specify add to selection right away and I will select this part of the road, just like that. 
And while she's selecting the road, each time she's adding something like the castle, then the horse, now this third thing, it's generating a new layer with that thing on it and all three results, unless you delete or add more, and the prompt. So every layer contains everything that was used to make that layer. And you can come back later right. on and regenerate. Right, you can come back later and generate a new horse. Just go to that horse layer, hit generate again, and it will generate three more horses. Um, go, go to the castle, hit generate again, it'll generate three more castles because it already has the prompt saved in the layer. So um, this is compositing in 2023, whereas it, you know, 2022, we would have to go find a horse and then drop it in or, or a plate, ceramic plate on a kitchen rack and drop it in and then try and make it look like it's supposed to be there. Whereas this is doing a lot of that work for us. So I have selected this part of the road and what I will do, I will click again on generator field and I will type water. You can type lake, you can type pond, you can type whatever you want. I prefer water. I would like to give Firefly um, uh, freedom just like that and Firefly will generate water instead on top of this road. just like that a look at this we have three different uh, examples and i love the first one and again guys i'm impressed if i will zoom in you will see that we uh, firefly generated water and generated a reflection based on our original image and like terry said before i will click on my horse layer and i will regenerate it one more time just in case maybe i will have something better i don't know just like that and... <laughs> oh this one that one's better <laughs> that first one Woo! <laughs> and voila <laughs> guys we came from this image very beautiful morning scenery to something more uh, dreamy look at this i just see myself here mm -mm -mm. so let's close this document what we have next okay guys uh new year and christmas is coming this is santa i downloaded this santa from adobe um, stock what i will do guys i will make a selection of santa just like that just simple selection just like that after santa was selected i will see i will in um contextual taskbar i will click on adjust selection and i will click on expand selection i will expand it by three i will click ok and i will invert my selection now i have selected uh, background instead of santa i will click on generate a fill and i will type I don't know. Let's do um, winter cold and click on generate just like that. With one click, with just simple prompt, we will convert, transform this uh, image to something more uh, beautiful with more details just like that. And guys, you can. Um, How about adding uh, do winter cold with Christmas tree? Winter cold Christmas tree. Let's do that like that. Like Terry did just um, now, you can modify your prompt. You can make it more complicated, less complicated. It's up to you. So, uh, Firefly reanalyzing my prompt, ah, and voila, we go. look at this. That's better. It's a Christmas postcard. Christmas card. You can print it out, send someone, or you can use as a digital card. It's up to you. Look at this. How beautiful is it? So, um, we need to give a book away. We will. Okay. Next stop photo restoration this image of my uh, grandmother and her sister i just got this image from my auntie 
Uh, I restored this image. I restored this image using um, Firefly and a neutral filter. Neural, neural filter. filter, I'm sorry. What I will do, I will switch to lasso tool. Let me zoom in just like that. And I will select part. I can select all imperfections in this image, but I don't want to spend your time on one image. So what I will do, I will select just this part, just like that. So I selected part of her forehead and hair. And if you will look at this image, you will see that I don't have, she doesn't have um, eyebrow, second eyebrow, and part of her face is gone. <coughs> I made selection. I will click on generate the fill. I will leave text prompt area empty and I will click on generate just like that. And Firefly will do the job for me. I don't have to use a clone stamp tool. I voila. Wow. Look at this. We have three results. You can use any you think the best. I love the first one just like that and step by step you can restore your image bring this image to neural filter and using photo restoration option in neural filter you using photo restoration a filter continue restoring your image but look at this we came from this to this now now let's talk about uh, these guys when I teach a digital painting or any painting, um, I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys. Uh, and one of them I'm getting 100% all the time. I'm a photographer or I want to paint, but I can't paint. And But I want to create art because this is what I feel. I love creating, but I can't now you can guys now you can let's do this first of all i would like to show you one example i will create a new file of course you can create your file in any size you like just like that i have image in um, my creative cloud library just like that i brought this image to my document i can reposition it if uh, you're not taking picture or you don't paint for a passport, uh, position your um, a main subject on a little bit on the right or on the left to make this image more uh, look more real and more artistic. So I position my image a little bit on the right and I will click OK to accept all changes. Now I will uh, switch to my background layer. My background layer is um, selected. I will switch to selection tool and I will select part of my background. Why? Because I need to add some background to my image. Yes, I can paint it. I can uh, download from stock or I can um, take picture of something and bring into Photoshop, but I can do better. It's like Terry said, it's 2023 and we have Firefly. Yeah, what I will do, I will click on generative fill and I will type this. Let's do um, mm, a watercolor brush strokes pastel colors just like that and i will click generate so i want to generate watercolor background using pastel colors can i do it using my brushes in photoshop yeah i can but as I mentioned uh, just a few seconds ago, guys, many of you ask me if <laughs> you cannot cool. paint. So look at this. If I want to change example, I will show you, I will explain why in a second. I will change watercolor to oil. Oil uh, paint brush strokes, pastel colors. I will uh, click on generate to regenerate my uh, background based on my adjusted uh, prompt and Just one second one second one second one second almost there almost there Just like that. Oh look we have Beautiful brush strokes look at this 
because we have this um, new background on a separate layer, you can do whatever you want with this layer. It's separate layer. Do whatever you want. But to make everything in harmony, what I will do, I will switch to my vase with this flower. I will make it a little bit bigger, just like that. I will position in anywhere I would like. I would like to position this vase on particular on top of this brush stroke and I will merge all my layers, merge visible. After that, guys, I will switch to my filter menu. I will click on oil paint and voila. I have oil paint filter where I can adjust my entire painting, entire document. I will click OK and now I have my vase painted in oil painting like just simple wow. just like that so guys you can start with your image with uh, like this vase with flowers or something else and you can generate uh, artistic background and you can apply oil a paint filter to your um original uh, asset like we did with our waste now let's talk about if you don't have any uh, waste or something else you would like to start with white, white canvas you can do it as well create a new uh, document let's close properties panel let's select this entire canvas guys i'm selecting entire canvas I will click on um, generate a field and I will type a watercolor at autumn scenery just like that and I will click generate. Okay, and while that's generating, now it's time to give away the book and the way we're gonna just have you enter is you're going to when this is done generating which it just did she's going to select an area pick one and then she's going to select an area and i want you in the comments to tell us what you want to put there and we'll pick one and uh whichever prompt we like the best we'll pick a couple whichever prompt we like the best that's how we'll close out um will that that person wins either the ebook or the physical book depending on where you live so um, go ahead and draw an area selection. Let's just have them put something okay, somewhere. Okay, let's select this area because it's more space to work with. Okay, so start now in the comments that she selected a rectangular area in the upper right hand corner. What would you like to try to put there with Firefly? Um, and we'll, uh, we'll just start using your prompts and see how it goes and if we have a winner that we like visually, that'll be the winner of the book. So we'll give you a few minutes because I know we're a little delayed. We'll give you a few minutes to start typing those and get your comments ready on Adobe Live. Matter of fact, why don't you select a different area? Uh, wait, wait, no, here it comes. Uh, or um, uh, Jack's asking them to put the prompts in the chat there. Yeah, please. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate your help. All right, uh, here's the first one. A distant castle surrounded by clouds. Okay, let's do it. So, and it's easy because you can see their prompt. A distant, a distant, distant castle. Distant castle. Surrounded by clouds. I like that, Misty. Yeah. By clouds. Surrounded looks like it might be off. Yes, it's, uh, surround. yes. As always, I made mistake. Surrounded castle. castle. Yes. Spelling matters. Absolutely, hundred percent. Because if it, if you don't give it a word that it knows, it's not going to be able to generate what you ask for. Yeah, it for sure. And it does work in a hundred different languages, by the way. So you can type in your native tongue. Yeah, I tried in Russian. I tried in in Armenian. Works perfectly fine. Oh, okay. There's three choices. Oh my of a god, I love castle. it. Let's move. Look, it's bad. Oh my God. All right. So, so far we got one from, uh, from Misty. Yeah, Misty. Thank you so much. If family on Monday. <laughs> okay, let's do it. 
All right, so we'll keep Misty's results, and that's the whole point. When you type in a new prompt, it doesn't get rid of the previous results. No. It just adds the new results as three new choices. So Robert's saying a family of mountain goats. Okay. Let's generate. It's like Japanese art, this castle. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. That love first it. one was a little weird. Yeah, I know what that yeah. is. So I hit generate again. We'll give we'll give yeah, that one another let's shot. Generate again. But look at those goats. It's like in watercolor painting in castle as well. Firefly generated uh, our extra asset in uh, watercolor paint. Painting, like, I don't know, I don't know what. why it's doing that. I but see. look, I like this one. <laughs> yep, those are good. It's cute. Okay, uh, any more? Any more, guys. Last shot at the book. We'll give you a few more seconds. So far, we have Misty and Robert in the running. All right, and oh, uh, here's another just trick. Um, grab your move tool. Yeah. And move oh. that layer uh, down, like move it down. Yes. Move it all the way down, like move yeah. it down to the bottom. Okay. What so so when she moves it, obviously it picks up the background from before, but now if you hit generate again, yeah. now after it's been moved, it'll regenerate it based on the new location. And it will change, uh, ch a prompt will be not changed. So same prompt, but different location. Oh, well, look at them. I love goats. And this one, oh my God, I love this too. Look at this. Adorable. <laughs> uh, another, they, they, I think they have a few too many horns. <laughs> it's okay, it's cute. It's fantasy, right? I love it. Very nice. Okay, guys, one more, one more. All right. Two. Misty and Robert so far in the running. And if we don't get another one, we'll just pick from those two. Yeah. All right. Going once. Going twice. Ten more seconds. Tell you what we're going to do. Rather than make Victoria choose a hard choice between, what was the first one? Mountain goats. What was the other one? Castle. Castle. Because I know she likes both. Yeah, I love both. We'll just give away two copies of the book. So yes. the winners are Misty and Robert. Yay! Thank you for participating guys. and giving us those prompts. Misty and Robert are winners. Send us your information so I will send you the book. Yeah, you're right, Misty. You both won. So uh, the moderator, Jack's going to collect your information. He'll reach out or she'll reach out to you and collect your information. And then you can uh, expect a copy of the book, depending on where you live, if, it, if you're in the U.S. So she'll send you a physical copy if you're in another country outside the U.S., then she'll send you the um, uh, the uh, Kindle version. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so you got about six minutes left. What six minutes. Let's do this one, guys. It's um, we did for um, New Year and Christmas uh, card. Let's talk about Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is coming in two weeks. I love autumn in general. I, he knows. I love, love, love it. So let's generate something. I will select this area, big canvas, just like that. And I will type, let's type um, autumn leaves. Pattern. No, you know what we, we will do? We will do differently. Autumn pattern. autumn leaves um, and autumn colors just like that and we will click on generate thank you Jack what 
look at this this is our uh, autumn yeah. background this is like a photo you can use it to uh in your photo compositing but if you would like to create ready to go um background or pattern just change your prompt to um painting just painting let's see what firefly will generate and we will click on a generate one more time what i would like to do i would like to generate art very beautiful and artistic uh pattern background and use it at look at this this is what i was talking about look at this guys oh my god i love it and my favorite is the first one now you can um use any text any message and this card is ready to go beautiful color um very warm feeling and everything like that so like that you can generate your postcard in um photoshop using uh generator <laughs> fill what flying car yeah <laughs> flying car was awesome. why not <laughs> i love flying car so uh i have still opened a pdf file guys you can use it in your uh oh 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 this i love dragons i love 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 dragons so this prompt one of my favorites number seven guys i will copy it i will open um firefly and paste and let's generate just like that i love dragons they're so cute look at this and again firefly will generate a set of uh, four images using square aspect ratio just like that look at this mm, mm, mm. so cute look at them so let's say we generated this a set of images and we want to adjust them we want you guys want to bring your personal touches to your generation look at the right side of your screen a firefly on the web screen we have all of those uh, effects we can apply <coughs> but also guys we have a uh, reference image gallery it's so helpful this gallery is very very helpful i will click on it and firefly redirected me to this gallery here we have reference images click on any of those images okay this one and click on regenerate and firefly will regenerate image based on your prompt and your reference image you specified you can have absolutely different results every single time look at this oh look at their jackets guys look oh do you see his head i do look at this they're so happy you know why because they're on uh, adobe live stream and what was the prompt prompt was two baby dragons uh floric in a magical forest evoking a sense of joy with vibrant bright colors change it to three i just want to see what happens three okay three not three three oh i'm sorry guys <laughs> and by the way guys when you type your prompt firefly has suggestions you can use simply um use any uh prompt suggested by firefly click on generate just like that and let's see how many dragons we will have now we're out of time three three, three dragons guys three cute baby dragons oh my god i love it so this is answer to all um my followers all my students and and you guys if you never painted before now you can because with firefly art is for everyone guys for everyone so create all right well we're wrapping up we got about 20 seconds left what do you want to how can people get in touch with you where's your website i'm on um victoriapavlovart.com my um website on instagram i am <laughs> on instagram i am i will tell you victoria white artist 
and same Victoria White artist on um, tweet, Twitter, X. All right. And with that said, I want to thank you, Victoria, for giving us some thank inspiration. You. That was great. I love seeing all the results and uh, just what you can do with prompts that you make a little bit more complex or a little bit not more complex, more detail. Um, so thank you. We're about to sign off. Uh, thanks for joining us here live. Uh, all the people, congratulations to Robert and Misty on winning the book. Um, Jack looks like uh, already reached out to you and DM'd you for your contact info. And we'll get that, and Victoria will send the books out to you. And she'll sign, at least the physical one can get signed. Yeah, I will sign. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on Adobe Live. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.